More mobile kitchens you may have noticed popping up around the Denver area. Yeah, there's a new one in downtown that's getting a lot of attention. Dan DeRue joined us live from the 16th Street Mall to tell us more about Shondies. Shondies. Uh, I should say but <laughs> or Shandai. That that would be more than one. That'd be Shandai. Yes, okay. And all I can say, guys, this little mobile kitchen here, owned by Mohammed and Ahmed Ismaili, a couple of brothers who decided to bring their home country cooked food to all of us. If this place were in Mayberry, RFB, perhaps Aunt B would talk to Opie and Andy and say, Andy, time for dinner. It's dinner time. That's right. It's a dinner kebab, not to be confused with the gyro. Let's go inside, shall we? Cody, you go west, I'll go east. And let's see what happens here. We'll go in there and see if we can uh, bother Ahmed. Not too much, though. Ahmed, permission to come aboard. Yes, sir. How are you doing, buddy? Yes. Man, this is a small little outfit, but very successful. How are you? I'm doing okay, thanks. What do you make? What do you? I know you got customers right there. What are you making right now? I'm making sausage burrito for that gentleman. All right, so you do burritos in the morning. Yes, breakfast and, burrito in the morning. And then you do the dooners. What does dooner mean? Dooner in Turkish language is mean spinning, and that's what these things does, right? Oh, that's here. it, right? What kind of meat do we have there? Lamb and lamb and beef mix. Uh huh. And steak, layer of steak and lamb and beef mix. Now the whole idea with you and your brother Muhammad, you wanted to, at first you wanted to open a restaurant, and he said, no, maybe we'll start small and introduce our style of cooking, Mediterranean type cooking, yes. to everybody on the 16th street, street Mall, and then perhaps someday get a little larger. Is that the idea? Yes, it is. Because Dori Kebab is the first time being offered in Denver. Really? And uh, we're trying to present this food so people will notice this between the dinner and the gyros. And, and there's a euro. Oops, there's a euro. But that's not a euro. That's the anti euro. That's anti-gyro. There you go. But it looks like a gyro. It cooks in the same way, of course, but people, after they taste in it, they will notice the difference. Do you know how to make your customers unhappy when we have a photographer between them? Look, there's a customer right behind us right now. He's like, okay, that's great, fancy TV boy. Yeah. I want to get to my food. So maybe you want to serve that to your customer because yes. I don't want to keep the food from the people who are paying for it. Oh, I don't want to come around here. So, uh, hey, Mel, now I understand. You said you said earlier that you live kind of... Oh, hold on a second. Hold on. How you doing, sir? What did you, what, what did you order? I ordered the breakfast burrito sausage. Have you tried the uh, Dooners yet? I'm not. I have not. I'm not from Denver. I'm from Chicago. Yes, so. it, it is a very traditional cowboy food, the Dooner. Oh, okay, good, good. We like cowboy food. Because you heard of the, like the little doggies. Actually, they're doggies. These are little Dooners. Oh, thank you. Oh, is that what they are? Yeah, little Dooners. It's very, very Colorado. Oh, good. I like Colorado. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, thank you. Happy Dooner. Yes, happy Dooner. Dooner. It's, it's Dooner time. Oh, no, it's, it's a little early, too early. All right. You shouldn't Dooner before 8 a.m. Never Dooner before. Or 8 a.m. says a customer from Chicago. Isn't that nice, guys? Check it out. This yes. is 16th Street Mall. Cross Street is what, Cody? Glenor. Yeah, I knew it. I was testing him. Come on down and have a dinner. Mohammed and Ahmed Ismaili, really nice guys. And the food, very tasty. So check it out. When you're smiley, you're a smiley. The whole hey, world. There's Dan? another bus. Go Dan. on, you crazy bus driver. Yes, Mel. I've got a recommendation for you. I was just telling What's Mike. You you need to, I was just telling Mike. You need to try the rosemary lemonade. Ask him about the lemonade. Oh, you know what? Hey, all right, come on, hold on, Mel. Listen, it's a three-hour show. We've got time. I didn't mean uh, on. Oh, I need a class. <laughs> Oh, let me tell you, and you know what? That's a very good question. Hold on. I mean, very good observation, Mel, because oh, no. you know what? This is an old country recipe as well. It is basically lemonade, but it's infused. Oh, that's enough, Cody, for Pete's sakes. My bladder is only so big. It's infused with rose petal infusion. Mm. It's so does that good. Make sense? But it does, the aroma is fantastic, Mel. I'm glad you brought that up. This is very good. Go enjoy. Go enjoy. Dan. Definitely worth it. Thanks, Dan. Top of the dooner to you. <laughs> Happy doing it to you, you big anchor man. <laughs> that is one large Dan in front of one tiny Ken. That was a nice shot. It was a nice shot.